The next phase of artificial intelligence is here for the Pentagon. The Defense Department's focusing on going to war with the data it has to build better models for national security missions. Angela Sheffield is senior program manager for AI for the Defense Nuclear Nonproliferation Research and Development at the National Nuclear Security Administration. She's writing about AI and national security in C4ISRnet. Angela, welcome. Thanks for coming on the program. I, I think that the uh, appropriation of the term you go to war with the force you have is especially apt here. What do you mean by that term when it comes to data in particular, Angela? Welcome. Absolutely, and thank you for having me. The key here is that often on artificial intelligence, um, we say that we need more data, we need better data. The truth is, is we have whatever data we have, especially in the national security space. If we find that we don't have the right techniques, the right methods to build artificial intelligence with the data that we have, that doesn't mean that we should get better data. It means that we should develop better methods to build powerful, useful AI systems that work with the data that we already have. You write in this piece that your office is advancing the state of the art in AI to fulfill requirements for robust, ethical, and secure models. Why'd you choose those three adjectives to describe the work that you're doing, Angela? Absolutely. The point of, of, of artificial intelligence, I mean, the, it's not about AI. It's about the national security missions. So the point is to build AI that, that, that meets whatever the most important requirements are for the mission that we're executing. For some missions, that is the ability to inform, to, to reveal really important insights that enable high consequence decisions, even under uncertainty and metrics that define our ability to make those decisions, our robustness for those decisions, would be the right metrics that we use to evaluate whether that AI is effective. In other parts of national security, the most important aspects of our mission are the, the ethics that we bring to, to executing that mission. And so for, for those uses of artificial intelligence, we should define and evaluate the performance of artificial intelligence against, against metrics for ethics. Uh, again, the point is, is not the AI. The point is that the mission it enables and evaluating and, and, and designing the AI to be suitable for those requirements. Referencing mission enablement, Angela, you refer to the next generation AI portfolio a number of times in this piece. What's the mission or what piece of the mission does that portfolio enable now? And what do you anticipate that portfolio enabling in the future? At the National Nuclear Security Administration, leveraging the expertise of the Department of Energy National Laboratories and working with, partner, with partners in the Department of Defense and the intelligence community and across the national security enterprise, we are developing, advancing the science of AI to develop AI-powered capabilities that enhance the United States' capability to detect nuclear weapons development around the globe, to, defect, to, to detect and monitor illicit activities to build or strengthen nuclear weapons programs. That's our primary focus. But nuclear proliferation detection, um, the missions of nuclear non-proliferation and arms control are diverse and super challenging. And within those missions are, are representations of many of the diverse missions across the national security enterprise. So most immediately, our work is improving, again, mission capability in this area of nuclear non-proliferation, reducing the threat of nuclear weapons around the globe. But longer term, we, we recognize and want to share and leverage the opportunity to leverage the, the methods and capabilities we're developing more broadly across the national security enterprise. I understand if you have to answer this question in very, very broad strokes uh, for whatever reason, what are you doing today with AI that maybe you were not able to or not able to do to the extent that you were two years ago? And what do you see on the horizon to be able to do in the future that maybe you can't do or can't do as much of as you'd like to today? Yeah, absolutely. So kind of piggybacking on, on what we said earlier that, or, or, or this concept of good data, we have AI right now to find patterns, a really powerful AI, to find patterns in large data sets, particularly large data sets of image or video data or text-based data. Some of the most interesting work we're doing right now, some of the most interesting research we're accomplishing right now is to build methods and techniques that allow us to still um, 
uh, to, to, to still use AI, to still build useful AI, but for other data types besides images and text, sensor and measurement data that are key to enable enabling many national security missions, and also uh, methods that are suitable when our data is far sparser than what we're used to seeing like on the internet when you're used to seeing artificial intelligence, working with data when the data is really messy or biased. Um, and instead of working to make that data more boring so that we can leverage conventional techniques that are developed for really boring data sets, finding ways to incorporate the information that makes national security missions so interesting and so important. Um, you write uh, regarding the mission that we talked about a moment ago, the United States national security enterprise must integrate AI to win in competition and conflict with China, Russia, and emerging threats. Must obviously is not an optional word. What has to happen in order f uh, for the United States national security enterprise to maintain the lead that many people believe it has now? Absolutely. We are a nation in competition right now. And we have to leverage artificial intelligence to win in competition with Russia and China and remain responsive to emerging threats. The artificial intelligence we need, the artificial intelligence that, that we will use for national securities to maintain this leadership and, and to remain responsive to emerging threats in, in times of, of conflict or crisis, the artificial intelligence we need is as much science fiction right now as it is actual science. We're at an inflection point. Will artificial intelligence just be pattern matching and cat videos? Or will we realize that artificial intelligence that we're all hoping for, that is that feels very much like science fiction? To develop the methods and techniques to realize that, that science fiction feeling artificial intelligence takes creativity and determination. The same creativity and determination that have long underpinned American innovation. And NSA, working with the Department of Energy National Laboratories and research partners in academia and industry are driving advances in the science of artificial intelligence, innovations in AI to realize this science fiction feeling artificial intelligence, to make it a reality, the sort of artificial intelligence that it takes to leverage AI for national security missions and the sort of artificial intelligence it will take to win in this competition. Angela Sheffield, thanks very much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me.